R20. Are you sure we're on the right road, Dad? Why, certainly, my child. It's the only one. We must be getting close to our place now. Let me take a look at the map. What did I do with that map? Put it here somewhere. Now, where? Here it is, Father. <laughs> All right, my child. Thank you. <laughs> now, let's see here. Ah, there we are. At the Bar 20 property, we turn left. Oh, I didn't know it was that far. Well, you're in the Great West now, Anne. Not New England. <laughs> ah, Paradise Ranch. Why, the name alone brings to mind the picture of clear, limpid streams. Lush meadows where contented cows wait to be milked by happy singing cowboys. And a certain retired professor can add to his collection of, uh... Shh. Pretty face, you're new around here, aren't you? Yes, my father and I are on our way out to our new ranch, the Paradise. Oh, then you must be the Larson girl. Mm -hmm. I'm Dale Martin. How'd you like me to show you the way? I'm a right good one-armed driver. No, please give me my reins and go away. Oh, spunky little rascal, aren't you? now, miss. <sighs> you apparently haven't driven very much. No, but I intend to learn as soon as we get to our new ranch. New ranch around here? Yes, it's called the Paradise Ranch. Dad just bought it and we're on our way out there now. Oh. Well, what's the matter? Nothing, uh, Miss... Uh... Larson, Ann Larson. My father's Professor Alonzo Larson of Scripsdale College. That is, he was until he retired last winter. Oh, he's not far from here. He'll be looking for me. Well, I'll help you find him. I'd like to have a talk with him anyway. All right. Thank you. Jenny, sounds a hoppy lucky? No, he's probably off someplace rounding up strays. Some folks never know when to quit work and eat. Now, me. Oh, the only reason you eat so is you can take that fool tonic. It ain't showing you no. Sunless tonics done me plenty of good. Sure, California, sure. Thank <laughs> you. 
What? Look over to the pond. Do you see something funny? No. You mean you don't see nothing? Oh, I don't see nothing. Hey, what's eating you? Well... Oh, go on, Rocky. I was seeing things. I'm through. I'm quitting. No more of that stuff. Help! Sounds like somebody in the pond. Help! All right, Miss? I think so. Help! Well, that's him now. Help! What's came from over here? Somebody give me a dry piece of paper. There you are. Ah, an excellent specimen of Papilia Indra. This will confound that opinionated Zuckerman. He placed their locality at the Great Salt Lake. Dad, these gentlemen just saved our lives. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. I mean, gentlemen, I am most grateful to you, I'm sure. And Mr. Cassidy, the bar 20. Yeah, Larson is the name. Alonzo Larson, recently of the chair of entomology at Scripsdale College. Now retired and soon to be a neighbor of yours. I'm Lucky Jenkins. I work for Hoppy. Larson? Alonzo Larson. That handle's right familiar. Huh? He means your name, Professor. Oh, <laughs> oh now I remember. Know a fellow by that name long time ago, back in Somerville. Huh? Called him Looney for short. Somerville? Looney? Sure. And what did you say your name was? His name is Carlson. First name is, uh... uh no, please, Hoppy, please. First name is Clarence. Clarence? Clarence Carlson? Why, of course. Crazy Carlson. Well, after all these years, imagine our meeting again here. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Well, the name still fits him. But we'll stick to California. Oh, thanks, Hoppy. Ernie, you heard that, Lucky. All right, Clarence. I mean... California. <laughs> well, Professor, if you and your daughter want to see your new ranch, you better get started. We'll ride along with you. Whereabouts is it, Hoppy? The paradise. Oh, oh no! no. Hmm? Well, what's the matter with it? Well, you better have a look at it before we talk about it. I'll go back to the bar 20. I'll meet you there. All right. <laughs> Get it there. Well, here we are, Paradise Ranch, so-called. Where, where are the meadows? Are you sure this is the right place? Sure is. Well, Mr. Bentley, the land agent, assured me it is one of the most productive little ranches in this part of the state. Productive? If it's rocks and sagebrush, you forget to produce. You won't raise many cattle on this land, Professor. Or much of anything else. Did they get you for much, Looney? All our savings, crazy. Well, let's take a look inside the house. Maybe it won't be so bad after all. Pretty bad now, but you might fix her up with some female doodads. 
But how are we going to make a living here? Well, before we go off the deep end, let's take a look at that map here and see what oh. you bought. Yes, the map. What can I do with that? Here, Dad. Oh, oh, oh yes. Thank you, my dear. Here it is. The area outlined in red is ours. Just when I thought. I was almost sure of it. What is it, Hoppy? That box canyon that is on the Paradise. Well, those are the rocks we climbed to find those three strays last fall. Yeah, and Hoppy get lost for a couple of hours. I remember. Oh, I didn't get lost. I just found something, and I was taking a good look at it. What'd you find, Mr. Cassidy? Traces of silver. Silver? Well, then we're rich. Uh, it's nothing to get excited about. It might be a little, and it might be a lot. Silver lies pretty deep. It's much harder to get out than gold. Ah, what's the use of thinking about it? Looney's broke, and we couldn't scare up enough money to start tunneling, even if it was good ore. Pretty tough, isn't it, Hoppy? Yeah. Well, thanks for everything you've done for us. But I guess we ought to try to get some of our money back and go east. That Bentley won't give up a cent. Well, then I guess we'll just have to stay here and try to get along somehow. Maybe I can find the answer. Where are you going? I'm going to town. You two boys stay here and see what you can do for the You get something in mind, Hoppy? Don't you need us? Not this time. It's nothing like that. This is just a nice, friendly business trip. Well, Bentley, everybody paid up without an argument. Hey, Bentley. I hear you sold that run-down paradise to an Easter and his daughter. Yeah, what about it? They could starve out there, you know. Well, that's their own lookout, Cassidy. I'm no guardian angel, you know. I just sell land. No chance of calling off the deal? No, not a prayer. The transaction's already recorded. Professor Larson's the legal owner. <laughs> and he can keep it. That's fine. I just wanted to make sure. Maybe I ought to go after him and pin his ears back. Better watch your own. That's one gent I don't want trouble with. He couldn't make me back down. Go inside before you talk yourself into something. I do for you? I'd like to have a talk with you if you're not too busy. Well, come on inside. Never too busy to talk to my friends. Have a cigar? No, thanks. I never use them. Now, don't tell me you're here to borrow money for the Bar 20. <laughs> oh, no. The Bar 20 is doing all right. It's the paradise I want it for. The paradise? Well, that belongs to Bentley. It did. He just sold it to a very good friend of mine. Oh, too bad. That Bentley has certainly taken a lot of people around here. When will they ever learn to investigate before they invest? Well, I wouldn't lend a nickel on that place. What would you say if I told you there was silver on that land? There are traces of silver in all the hills around here. This is not just a trace. I have reason to believe it's a whole ledge. What? You must be out of your mind. Where is it? I'll be glad to show it to you. It's right on the Paradise. Well, I'd certainly like to see it. And I'll bring an assay along with me. If the thing's as good as you say, we'll talk business. Fine, that's all I ask. If you're right about this, <laughs> what a laugh it'll be on Bentley. <laughs> yeah. Well, so long. Goodbye. Pretty face herself. Please step aside. I don't wish to speak to oh, you. Oh, now, don't be coy. Out of the way. Who do you think you're talking to, Sonny? Stop it, both of you. Who's your playmate, Lucky? Just a fellow that's going to get himself in a lot of trouble if he doesn't stay away from me. Oh, forget it. 
By the way, what are you doing in town? Miss Ann needed supplies. Well, you better get what you want and let's get back to the paradise. I have some interesting news. Oh, hello. Matter, something wrong? We made a mistake, Bedley, not hanging on to the Paradise property. What do you mean, mistake? Cassidy says there's a big silver deposit on it. What? How do you know he ain't just trying to get you to buy it? You don't know much about Cassidy. If he says there's silver there, I'll gamble he's right. And we let it slip out of our hands for a measly $5,000. Oh, stop whining. We still have a chance to come out ahead. before Cassidy gets there and buy it back from the professor. He may not want to sell. I think Deal can help him make up his mind. There won't be no trouble about it. Remember, keep my name out of it. Sure. Well, come on, hurry up. All right, all right. Come on, Martin. Just the same, Rooney. It don't look like a He-Man job to me chasing butterflies. There are many hazards to make it exciting. Exciting. <laughs> Why, I remember once that... Wait. What's the matter? That large Lepidoptera. The, the what? Where? There. You see him? But hold still and I'll get that leopard. That leopard, whatever it is. Oh, I'll... dear. Huh? Take that. Now, what would I take that for? Oh, go get him. He's getting away yeah, from me. I... You mean that butterfly? Yes, go on, go on. For no one else would do it, Looney. This one for you. Well. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Now, I ain't get a hankering to let anyone know I've been riding herding butterflies. 
Just as you say. Uh, now, if it was a tarantula or something, uh, that's different. <laughs> Isn't it a beauty? Now remember, you caught that lippy, uh, what you may call it, not me. Uh oh, look what's coming. Anthony! Good afternoon, Professor. It was good till now. Bentley ain't talking to you. Dry up. Mr. Bentley, I wonder you had the effrontery to come here after the way you cheated me on this property. No, no, Professor, it's just a misunderstanding. Let's go inside. I'll explain the whole yeah, thing I to you. Don't believe a word he says, Looney. He's a low down. Well, never mind him. I can clear it all up. Looney! Professor, I never could have sold it. Broken down place? I had no idea it was in such a bad condition. Well, the only thing I can do is refund every penny of your money right now. Why, this is most unexpected and quite generous of you. Not at all. I'm just an honest man. <laughs> I, uh, I'd like to have the sales agreement first. Please. Why, certainly, of course. I, I've got it right here. Let me see. Well, yes, of course. I, I've got it here somewhere. Now, where did I put it? Now, don't you do it, Looney. Wait, Papa! Why, there's no good old Terum Lynn from Limo. Well, maybe I better. Come on, give me the agreement. What's the matter with you? Bentley's here. Bentley? Yeah. Well, hurry up and find it. You know, I, I don't think I like your attitude. Listen, you old fossil, dig up that deed pronto or... Or what? You're not thinking of selling, are you, Professor? Keep your hand off that gun, you'll live longer. Now clear out of here, both of you. And keep off this property. Go on. And remember what I said. What did they want? They're trying to get this ranch back. They must have heard about that silver somehow. Well, I didn't say a word to anyone. Hoppy, I hope you don't think I said anything. Oh, certainly not. Somebody must have overheard me talking to Wade. Any sign of waiting here, sir? Not from here. Well, move so you can see the other end of the street. Watching for you. Well, I'd hardly come to your front door. What did you say, Shaw? And I let it go for five thousand. They've really got something. Unless they can't raise the money to start operations. Cassidy won't have any trouble raising the money. I'll lend it to him myself. In fact, a lot more than he needs. Are you out of your mind? Certainly not. I'm a public spirited citizen. You're cutting your own throat. <laughs> no. Cassidy. So many things can happen around a silver mine. Papers are all ready just to fill in the amounts. Oh, fine. Well, I think 10,000 will take care of things until the mill starts paying us off. Better make it 15 just to be sure. I'll deposit the money to Professor Larson's account. Just as a matter of form, I've had to make out three notes for 30, 60, and 90 days against the property. 30 days? That's crowding it pretty close, isn't it? Oh, that's the usual time. Well, that's only fair, isn't it, Hoppy? 
Well, I guess we can get on enough more in 30 days to meet the first payment. Which will be due at uh, exactly 12 o'clock, the first of next month. <laughs> you businessmen are really exacting. There are such things as extensions, you know. I'm sure we won't need one with Mr. Cassidy handling affairs. Well, I'm sure you won't. Here, Professor, sign these. Smelter would hurry up and get here. Oh, he'll be here all right. I gave him a sample of our best ore. You know, Hoppy, I can hardly believe all is happening to Dad. Well, it couldn't happen to nicer people. So lucky, says. <laughs> hey! Hey! What's happened now? Another accident? Did you get hurt? Timbers let loose and brought down a big rock leg. Yeah, something's always happening around here. It's a jinx, man. I'm quitting. You guys know it's good for you. You'll quit, too. I'm with you, Buck. It's a I'm hard luck to job. I'm I'm looks like it. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to uh, quit, Just too. a minute, boys, before you start talking about quitting. Accidents happen every place. Yeah, but not so often. Yeah, but most of these have been due to carelessness. That's right, they have. That's true enough. I know tenant barn punching cattle is more in your line of work. But you're all doing fine. You're learning the job. Now, why don't you go back and go to work and just be a little more careful? Well, let's go back, boys. That sounds all right. Thanks, boys. That's reasonable now. What about you? Oh, we'll stick along. All right, but you better take care of that leg. Hoppy! Hoppy! Hoppy, Mr. Radley's here. How are you, Mr. Radley? Glad to see you. How's everything going? Well, we had a little trouble with hard rock formation, but we should start getting productive ore out any day now. I'm glad to hear it. I checked our engineer and assayer's report, and I'm authorized to contract for your entire output. How soon can you start shipping ore to us? Well, we'll have to start within a week. We've got a $5,000 note that's due at noon on the 1st. Well, I'll deposit $5,000 in your local bank. You can draw on it to the full amount, subject, of course, to your first delivery of ore to the mill. We have to be sure you'll be able to make delivery. Well, don't you worry. You'll get the ore all right. Good. Well, I'll have the papers drawn up and bring them to the house for Professor Larson's signature this evening. I'll go tell Dad. Goodbye, Mr. Radley. Thanks. See you later. Everything all right, Hoppy? Yeah, everything looks fine. Hey, that's a bad limp that Buck's got in his right leg. Left leg. His right leg, Hoppy. I said it was... Hey, Buck! Hoppy! Hoppy! What's the matter? Everything. We hit solid rock. There's no telling how thick it is or what's beyond it until we dig into it. Where are they going? to Bentley, more than likely, to give him the bad news. Yes, well, they haven't got anything to tell. Lucky and I were the only ones in the tunnel when we hit the rock. We came right out to look for you. Nevertheless, everybody in town knew about it by morning. Let's have a look. Well, here's Buck and Sam. They ought to know something. Well, Patrick from the Smelter Company was there. He told them that the money would be in your bank, Wade, when he made delivery of the ore to the mill. Can they get as much as they need in a week? Yeah, easy. They couldn't if there happened to be, say, a cave-in at the mine. No. No. Not if there was a cave-in that took a week to clear up. We could capture that owl 
so that I could study him at close range. What do you want me to do? Fly up there and get him? No, no, no. Go to the house, fix up a trap so that we can catch him. Butterflies. Oh. All right, all right. Here, take it. California, you're back so soon? Shh, don't make so much noise. You'll frighten the owl away. Yeah? What are you doing here? What are you doing with that dynamite? Bring him along. We can't leave him here. find the contract all right, Cassidy, but I still don't see why you want to sign it now. Why not? Well, I understand you ran out of the vein. That's right. And you know the terms of the contract. We deliver on time or no money. Exactly. And you still want to sign. I certainly do. Hoppy never gives up hope. Yes, but this time I'm afraid that won't help. Well, let's get that signed. I'd like to start back to town right away. Right. And... Where's your father? Well, he in California slipped out right after supper. Where's the professor? Oh, he's down near the mine, studying the peculiarities of the... Uh, the Strigger... Uh, uh, who? Uh, that's it, Hoppy, the owl. Jay, why didn't you lock the tool shed? Don't tell me what to do. I'm sure I locked it. I know my job. Oh, go on it or see you didn't. Never mind. I'll go lock the tool shed and see if I can find the professor before he gets mixed up with that strig of... Uh, who? The owl. Yeah. Yeah. What's that thing for? Oh, uh, well, I'll tell you. Ah, huh? uh, you wouldn't understand. That'll give us plenty of time to get away. Yeah. Let's go. You too. Wait a minute. Get out while you've got a chance. Dynamite! Come on. 
Sam was killed with that dynamite he planted. Looks as though that contract won't do you much good now, Cassidy. I still want to sign the contract. We'll go in there the first thing in the morning and see how bad off we are. You waste your time, I'm afraid. Uh, we'll see. That's fine. Have one? Thanks. Too bad about Buck and Sam, but they should have managed to handle themselves better. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a couple of hundred you don't have to pay out. <laughs> yeah. Now what? Too bad about the explosion at the mine last night. Oh, that was fine. Those roughnecks did us a great favor. A favor? Sure, the explosion blew out that rock wall we were having the trouble with and opened a whole new ledge. Ha <laughs> ha, it was wonderful. <laughs> Cassidy don't seem so glum as he ought to. There's a slip somewhere. Hello, boys. How's things out the mine? Oh, fine. We found a whole new ledge out there. Good, good. Say, I'll be needing some men. There's a bunch of men hanging around the blacksmith shop down here. Let's have a talk with them. Don't like the looks of that. You'll like it a lot less when I tell you what happened. All right, what happened? Instead of the explosion working to our benefit, it's opened up a brand new vein of silver. What? All right, boys, load up. You can send on our You'll be glad to help you. Certainly appreciate you helping out. I'll help you sign you on when you get out there. Take him away, George. I'll be seeing you later. Here. Ha! Ha! Hi, Cassidy. Hi. I hear you're signing up hands. That's right. What about it? I've done a lot of things in my time I don't brag about, but I always try to fight fair. Well, come to the point. All right, it's this. I don't like working for Bentley. I didn't know when I hired out to him it was to be bodyguard to a tin horn swindler. Well? I mean, if there's any way I can square things by helping you and the professor, I'm willing to string along with you. Well, I do need men, that is, men that are willing to work hard. You can count on me. Right. I'll ride right along with you. I've got all my gear with me here. All right. some boys to help us out. What's he doing out here? Never mind, Lucky. Personal matters will have to wait until after we get the first shipment out. This gunslinger's working for Bentley. Martin is working for us now. Where do I stash my bedroll, boss? Come with me and I'll show you. I'd never trust that man. Evidently, Hoppy does. Aren't you glad everything's going so well, Lucky? Sure, but... But what? Well, one of these days, Hoppy will be sorry he didn't know who his real friends were. Oh. What 
hit you. Toothache. Humdinger. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, I should have had the flame thing out before. Well, why don't you go to town now and have it pulled? Sure hurts awful. Guess that's what I'll do. I'll be back by dawn in time to pull out with you. Yeah, try and do that. Starting out at the crack of dawn for the mill. Figure to make it by the deadline easy. How many men they got? Just a driver at each wagon. They ain't expecting any trouble. It's about time you showed up. Well, what happened? Well, Cassidy... see anyone. I'll never mind. Now here's what I think we ought to do. They're delivering in the morning. Who were you last night? Oh, I was around. I heard they went to town looking for you. Well, just as well you didn't. I found a deal. Did you suspect him? Well, Lucky, I thought you knew. I've always suspected him. That's why I had him working for us, so I could keep an eye on him. Oh. Well, did you find out anything? I found out that Wait the Bankers mixed up with Bentley, but unfortunately, I couldn't hear what they were talking about. All ready to roll, Hoppy. Fine. Will you get our horses? Sure. You ride ahead and see if the road is clear. I'll watch out for trouble. You aren't expecting any, are you? Oh, he means uh, washouts in the road. You oh. Know. Sure, washouts. Uh, you've done a grand job, Hoppy. Thanks, Professor, but the job isn't finished yet until I get this ore to the mill and on time. Well, that should be easy. You've got all morning. And it's all downhill. That's right. Hey, by the way, you and Anna better get started so you'll be at the mill by the time we get there. Take the shortcut. That's the old trail road. All right. Bye. Bye. Scatter out in the rocks. Be ready to open up on them when I signal. One guy I want to get, Cassidy. You've got my blessing there.
Road's all clear ahead. Good. See our boys are doing back here. <laughs> Anybody hurt bad? Not too bad. We can't keep going, Hoppy. That right, George? Uh, we'll keep them rolling. Well, that's fine, men. We'll get you a doctor as soon as we get to the mill. We sure was lucky. Yeah, but we'll have to make a run for it from here on in. Hoppy, what do you make of that? What? Over there. Well, I don't like the looks of it. Neither do I. Let's get these wagons rolling. We'll circle back later and see what's up. Come on, let's go.
Here they come now. All right, what about it? Let's block the road with some of these rocks. Now, Lucky, stop the last one and have the men help you. I'm going after Bentley. Right, Hobby. that conveyance back to me right now and get it over with. Oh, let's be legal about this. They still have 15 minutes to pay off the note. I'll make you a little bet. It'll be closer to 15 hours than 15 minutes before Cassidy gets here. I'll take that bet, Bentley. $5,000 worth. Get your hands up. Why, you, I thought you said... Never mind that. Get out the money the smeller agent deposited with you and be quick about it. Come on, both of you. You're taking a little trip to the smeller. You can't force us to go with you, Cassidy. It's not legal. I'm not forcing you. I'm inviting you. Come on. Cassidy sent in word yesterday that he'd have that ore here by 10 o'clock. Well, those are the wagons, aren't they? Well, that's Cassidy's outfit, all right. But he'll never make it from here to the bank in time. They are. Give me the receipt. Give him the receipt, but I'm afraid it won't do you much good. What do you mean, won't do us no good? It ain't 12 o'clock yet. Two minutes, too. I know, but you'll never make it to the bank over a mile in two minutes. Yeah, but doggone, there's a... Well, there's Hoppy. Hoppy, but rightly should you. All right, we... California. Wait, I'll trouble you for that $5,000. Here you are, Professor. Pay wait the money you owe him on that note. Hear you? You hear a done you? You leech? I'll take the note, too. You can't get away with this, Cassidy. I'll have you sent to jail for kidnapping me if it's the last thing I ever do. If I go to jail, I'm going to have a lot of company after what I heard between you and Bentley last night. Never mind. I know when I'm licked. What do you want me to do? I'm an old man. I Stop sniveling, you old bloodsucker. I'm sorry I ever got mixed up with you. It was your idea as much as mine. I'll give you two a better chance than you've ever given anyone else. You got 24 hours to clear out of this district. 
before the decent people find you and ride you out on a rail. That goes for the rest of your henchmen, too. All right. You win. Come on, Bentley. I thought you said you didn't hear anything last night. I didn't, but they thought I did. That's all that's necessary. <laughs> I just want to say thank you for everything you've done for Dad and me. It was a uh, pleasure, Miss Ann. Speaking of the professor, I'd like to give him this note. Oh, there he is with California. Now look, crazy. Ah, uh, California. I've got a little gift for you. It's the first butterfly you ever caught. I want you to take it to Bar 20 and show it to the boys. <laughs> oh, they, they'd be interested in something like this. Poor California. I knew him when he was a real cowhand. Yeah, Lucky, I guess we'll just have to leave him here with these butterflies and these owls. Oh, no, you don't. I'm going with you. I... <laughs> you didn't mean that, did you, Hoppy? No more butterflies? No, sure, not me. I ain't cut out with one of them anti Molly uh, bug cats. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, Professor. Thank you. Well, I guess we'd better be getting back to the ranch. Oh, Hoppy. Oh, it's not far. Now, you can go back once in a while. That is, if you're invited. And you are. Well, in that case, let's hurry home. That's so why I can get back. <laughs> well, it's long, Lenny. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.